Welcome back everybody, it is GM Place, and this time we are playing a map that I am looking very forward to. This is uh, the Fire of London, well, the Great Fire of London, and basically it's like a simulation of what it would be like back in 1666. So, yes, this uh, is a real historical event that took place in London. And uh, this is the map layout here of actual London, how it was before. And you guys may think, who actually would spend the time to make this all? Well, yes, actually the Museum of London themselves. Actually, for, I forget what anniversary, but this is kind of their gift to us to give us this in Minecraft. So, which is very, very cool. So, what you guys probably don't want to hear me talking anymore we will get right into the story London September 1666 1666 alright so find the 12th audio records so that's I guess the objective and discover what caused the great fire of London jeez look at this guys oh my goodness this must have t taken forever to build Holy cow. Alright, I gotta take a screenshot here, guys. Whew, this is crazy. Wow. Alright, this is very, very impressive. The Museum of London does not screw around, I tell you. Alright, so the Great Fire of London. Here we go. I don't know if I should be thrilled to get burned alive, but... <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen. All right, tattered map. What do we have here? He did say green arrows are secrets or something like that. Uh, let me actually go back and check what he did say. Oh, I think I see something up here. Oh wait, what's this? All right, maybe they want us to go in here. Uh, I don't think there's anything here. This is very cool. These are kind of like chests. Oh, the cabinets. I don't know if I should be looking for this stuff right away. So let's go and check out London, shall we? Alright. Great Fire of London. Alright, so what do we want to do here exactly? Uh, this map really doesn't tell you what to do much. Now, if you guys are wondering, this is before the fire took place. So, this is what London looked like before the actual fire. It actually looked the same after, too, because after the fire um, took place, they actually built it exactly the same. Uh, that was due to economic uh, reasons. But, yeah. Alright. Now I try. I I hope my my history facts are correct, just in case the museum of London ever watches this video. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Now this I know I'm correct. This this is where the fire actually started. Um, in this bakery. So this is probably a key factor to this map. This is uh I don't. No one really knows how it started here, but this is uh where scientists uh figured it the fire actually started so see guys I do I do know my history I do know my history uh, alright putting this is uh, putting lane I'm guessing or on Sunday the 2nd of September 1666 as London lay asleep a fire took hold in a bakery on pudding lane the warehouses and stores in this area were full of barrels of tar oil brandy and piles of rope hay and coal perfect for starting a great fire with not enough people to fight the flames, it quickly spread. Alright, so it looks like we got a little voice acting by Stampy here. Very cool. Uh, let's see what else. So, that is how the fire started, I guess. Uh, lots of tar, just flammable materials. I did uh, read that, um, basically, they the I forget what the fire tactic was but the wind and everything just made the fire spread so fast that they really could not keep up with um, the fire so let's just take a look around I don't really want to be staring at my map too much oh this is crazy alright so this must have took so long to build 
this is why I like Minecraft so much. It's just because you can do so, make so much things. You really can't do that in any other game. So, um, where do you want to go inside? So I did notice a lot of these buildings. Um, you can't really go inside. They didn't really finish the interior. Interior, but who blames them? Who would want to spend thousands of hours inside? <laughs> Not gonna see it anyways. In 1666, most houses were made of wood and pitch. London streets were narrow and buildings lent outward, making it easier for flames to spread. In fact, the previous one, named King James I, had tried to make it law to build houses in brick, and because of this was Interesting. So I actually like this because you're actually getting a little history lesson as well. So I don't want to pick up this too. Oh, okay. This must be a different part. Where are we on this map? Uh, I don't know where to go actually. Let me actually head back and get the other CDs first. This must be the cathedral. Maybe? can't tell. I know there's about 70 churches that got burned in the fire, I believe. Don't take my word for it, but uh, that's a thing. Oh, I know s over like 70,000 homes. It was it was a huge fire, guys. That was it was called the great <laughs> it's called the great fire of London for a reason. So, yeah, I mean, hopefully if you guys watch this video and play this map, you'll learn something. So, I really like that actually. I like uh, history a lot, so if you guys can tell that, uh, I hope you guys can tell. All right, uh, let's see what's on the dock here. Oh, here we go. It looks like we're on the pier or something. Oh, that just failed at parkour. All right, there we go. The Great Fire was not the only serious fire in the 17th okay. century. Okay. Thirty years earlier, a fire destroyed about a third of the houses on London Bridge, as well as around eighty in the North End Parish and a section of the bridge. And it was this that helped prevent the Great Fire in 1666 spreading across the river. Awesome. So basically, um, what he said there was other previous fires had prevented this the great fire from reaching this side of the bridge so interesting I did not I did not know that so um, this is really cool I'm learning a lot I'm sorry guys I'm taking all these screenshots because this just looks awesome yeah. oh, that, I mean, that looks so cool let me try to cover up that thing though alright uh, alright there you go yeah alright uh what do we need? We got that, got that. We need to go back to the ship. Man, it, it would be awesome if like schools could like implement kind of stuff like this to teach. I think it would be very beneficial. A lot. I mean, if you add this in school, <laughs> so much more kids will learn stuff. But uh, that's my two cents. All right. Um, gotta find this disc. I couldn't find this one before. I'm disappointed. All right. Don't let me down this time. I'm probably making this one harder to find than it actually is. Yeah, it doesn't say it has to be a CD, so... I kinda wish it would tell you if it were or not, but... That's alright. So, let's go and make sure there's nothing else on the ship. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, uh, is it blocked off? Or what's Oh yeah, it's blocked. Okay. Oh, there's one more mass I could climb up. We give it a try. Maybe it's at the very top of the ship. Okay, we're going up. This is by far the most detailed map I've ever played. It's very cool that um, the actual museum would do that. Oh, okay, well this is a, the, this painting was by, um, oh my gosh, I forget his name, but this is actually a famous painting of the fire by an artist. I 
don't know. I sorry guys, I let you down. I do not remember his name. Um, I'll have his name on the um in the video. You guys can probably see it right now. But yeah. All right. So I mean, this map. Just take this all in. Holy crap, dude. Um. I'm so impressed, you don't even understand. <sighs> Look at all, that's so much work. Just so let this all load. Alright, uh, see if I can get a bird's eye view. That is insane. That's insane. Get a picture of that. Sorry guys, I take pictures of everything. I really should make a video on how to take a selfie of Minecraft, dude. Alright, that's gonna be my thumbnail right there. Alright, so anyways, um That will be it for this video because it's getting kinda long. It's near twenty minutes or fifteen, I don't really remember. But I will definitely make a part two. There's just a lot of running back and forth and everything. So, I mean, honestly, guys, if I get views or not, I'm just playing it by myself because it's that cool. But I hope you guys keep watching this series because um, not only do you get to see awesome gameplay. I mean, best gameplay ever, 10 out of 10. I mean, who wouldn't want to see this? But you also get to learn something and see this amazing building. Like, this is just a piece of art right here. So... Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, um, and if you, anybody who helped uh, make this map, just good job, just very awesome so far, and uh, yeah, so see you guys in the next video, bye.